underwhelming. Not kind, not kind. Let's not be diplomatic. The stage is trash. Bang for the bang. Hey, back and Alice, what's up? If this is your first time on this channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you can always get notifications because we're always up to something fun on this channel. And if you're returning, welcome back. You already know what this is about to give. So let's get into the tomfoolery at all. So from the title of this video, you already know somebody's ass is about to get gotten into. I think it's necessary this time around. I usually try to keep it very diplomatic, but you know, some things just have to be said. So you, we're gonna touch on like five topics that we could improve. It doesn't take a scientist to know, but for some reason people are missing it. So we're gonna touch on those things and hopefully nobody wants to write me when they see me. Okay, so the first thing I think that's really like fundamentally wrong with the carnival is that the Zilusian government really does not show any interest in the carnival. Or I should say as much interest as they put into like the Soleil Festival and the Zilusian Jazz Festival that was um, some years ago. When it comes to carnival, it seems like there's some old heads in there uh, that kind of just stop everything from happening. They kind of give the minimum effort. They kind of put up all this red tape and it's like so difficult for the youth to come in. And I feel like at this point, you need to just flick some of these old boogers out and just get some new people. Keep some of the OB because you need some guidance but get some of these people out like we need fresh ideas fresh minds they're amazing people who are doing amazing things young people um people are hungry for development and stuff like that and it's just so unfortunate that people they can't they can't do what they need to do um for the carnival so that's one of the real major issues right it kind of goes into the next point, which is kind of the 2 a.m. cut-off point, which is another government thing or police thing. Because our nightlife, picture this, we have carnival, right? Um, and a lot of the, the other islands, I've been to Trinidad Carnival and I've been to Cropover. Cropover still probably has the same issue as, as us with the 2 a.m. thing. But I've been to Trinidad and I got on the avenue at 4 a.m. and it was like pumping, pumping. I mean, like, granted, there's the army there with guns and all the AKs you can think of, all the alphabet guns you can think of, they're there, just in case some shit pops off. But it's still allowed to go on. And it's like, as soon as two o'clock, it's, 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 it's ridiculous now how fast the police come to shut off the music at 2 a.m. I, I don't understand it, to be honest. I think it's something that is very retarded. I think it's um, backward thinking. You have people coming in, you, you advertise in Lucia Carnival and you try to do this whole marketing thing and people come in, tourists come in and the week of Carnival or the week leading up to Carnival, the weekend before Carnival, bars and everything shut down at 2 a.m. And people sometimes leave their houses at midnight so by the time they come out, there is nothing to do. My issue with that is if you are allowing permits for events that go into the next morning, daybreak events, let's just say like the uh, paint and powder events. It's past two o'clock and it goes up to like eight in the morning. But what can be put in place for people to be allowed to have their bars open after a certain time? Like loud music is all shut off. And I'm like, eh. it's to the point where solutions are so accustomed to it. Like at 1.45, everybody kind of like, well, the music is about to end anytime soon, so let me just go on and go go home. One of the major downfalls of St. Lucia Carnival, and that definitely needs to be fixed. Because it's pointless people coming out with new events, and then there's so much red tape, you have to shut up at a certain time. And that bleeds into the next point, which is the lack of venues. We have venues. Our topography does not really allow for it much, because we're not as flat as Barbados. Um, and we don't have many places that are not mountainous so it's hard to get venues that are away from residential areas but um kind of accessible and you know logical and they have these people these people who think they're rich yes i'm calling you out who believe that when a certain crowd of people comes into any venues that are around their neighborhood and then you report every two minutes to the police that there's noise. Um, sis, you know there's going to be an event. It's one night. It's not going to kill you. It's on the weekend. You don't have work in the morning. Why are you being a uh, stick in the mud? Or just like a bitch. Like, I, I legit know of group chats that have been formed 
when we have certain events and they're basically before the event has even started before any disturbance has even started they've already planned to call the police it limits the number of venues that we have and the types of events that we can have so when solutions complain oh i'm tired of going to this place that to an event i've done it enough there really isn't many places that you could go. The fourth point is the relocation of the stage on actual parade day. The stage is kind of mm, underwhelming. Not, not kind of. Let's not be diplomatic. The stage is trash. It, 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 it's, it's trash. It's a safety hazard. It's trash. It's in the wrong location. It just not. It feels like very anticlimactic to me. Um, when I did carnival in Trinidad. The stage is kind of the pinnacle of the carnival, like when you, if you don't cause a stage, basically, but you ain't jump carnival, period. When we get to, to, to town in St. Lucia, you go over this ramp that's a kitten heel away from him, like, it's a kitten heel. It's legit, the stage is a kitten heel. You go up, you dance a little bit, you walk off. Get the fuck off. This is by no means to discourage you from coming to St. Lucia Carnival. St. Lucia Carnival is probably one of the best carnival experiences in the Caribbean. I can safely say that. It's very unique. It's very authentic. Hands down. That stage, I feel like they should relocate to probably the Saab or something like... Mm, I mean, you could have a judging point where the stage is, but the stage itself should be something more grandiose, something more extravagant, like, wow, put pe people could pay to go into the sub. You could arrange seating and stuff like that, so people could pay and go to watch that, because we have more Lucian watchers than Lucian jumpers, let's just put it out there, who come around just to say, oh, she in a, uh, uh, all her ass out, you know, you know, she in a two-piece, bitch, if your body was like that, sis, you would want to be in a two-piece as well. Final issue I have with St. Lucia Carnival is not even the carnival, it's the people. We have a, we, I have argued with many people that we are not a carnival culture originally because it's so wild how people could just stay home. I never understood it. It's like, it's carnival season, they have all their tickets. Today, I just don't feel like going to the event or somebody said something on the team that I didn't like, so I'm going to take it personally because everything is so intimate here that... One person says something that they don't like and it's like, well, I'm just not going to go again. The money doesn't bring me. I'm not going to go. I don't need to go. Um, Solutions just like to be where they think other people are. And it, it's not really a carnival culture. Like, I could, like people just, just not into it. And I feel like the people would, uh, the carnival would be better if we did not need foreigners to come in. And, you know, I mean, yeah, we would need foreigners to you know, spice it up a little bit. But if the people, it's like, you all allow events to flop during carnival. Because you're home, like, and it's not a money thing. We had this whole argument with my friends that it's a money thing. Solutions are very rich, bitch. Very rich. So it's not a money thing. Um, I just think that we just don't really care for it. And I feel like if we like more of our own products, we would be so much further in the Caribbean, in the world. We would put ourselves out there a lot more. Marketing would be amazing. That's my two cents. Probably it sounds, well, it's not two cents, it's probably like 10 cents because I, yeah, I was kind of coming for people. But yeah, get these old people off the fucking committees, bring in some new fresh blood. Police needs to stand their ground and tell these people who complain all the time about the disturbing of the peace to suck it. They should stop being so lazy and not come to turn off the music at two on the dot. That's the only time they're on time. The people need to appreciate the culture a lot more and get more, you know, into it. Like, live a little, understand what it is. Like, carnival is an amazing, amazing thing. And finally, the relocation of the stage. I hope you guys agree or disagree. If you agree or disagree, let me know down in the comments how you see it. And if you're coming to St. Lucia Carnival for 2019, all the bands are ooh, the bands are launching. And I'm about to give a review for People's Next. But I've heard certain bands are coming strong AF. So I'm looking forward to that, guys. And um, so the next video is probably, I'm going to have the same shit on because I'm recording some videos today. So don't judge me. Um, yeah, if you like this, hit the like button. And if you did not subscribe yet and you want to be one of the back analysts in this army, let's just hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a video when I upload. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Bing for the bing, bing for the bing, bing for the bing, big bing, bing, bing.